How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here along with special guest Elo from the YouTube channel Ren 66 right up above us. How's it going Elo? Barely able to contain my hype for the final five. I'm just clenching everything because I'm nervous and excited and we're getting there. We're ready to go. This is it. We've had nine previous episodes of the Battle May Sun. We started from the very bottom and now we're here towards the finale episode to reach battle number 50, the Battle Chatelaine Nita. With her three genies, right? She's got the genie trio. And we're ready for them. We yes, we got Mammo Swine in our back pocket. We're going to do the Kangaskhan team. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and, and summarize the last episode, what happened there for uh, the viewers who missed it. Unusually easier than I thought it would be. Um, normally, the not to say the Altaria team is a bad team, but the Kangaskhan Aegislash team is definitely a more secure and fluid team. Um, Altaria team just had an easy time on the last one. Uh, we had an unfortunate, like, hiccup in the middle there with Victory Bell, um, where I just made a really bad call. But I think other than that, things went pretty well. There was no real pressure moments, so that well, that's not to say that I haven't spoken too soon. So we'll see what happens in these last five. Yeah, the last battle was surprisingly easy, too, because we were playing around with the uh, Protect Leech Seed Venusaur. That was pretty awesome. Oh, oh god, it's a veteran. <laughs> Hente, baby! Here we go, the first legendary we've seen all throughout the series. Nice! Okay. Ente, pressure, right? Okay. Yes. What so is Definitely Ente got, on this then? one, we can just uh, Mega and Fake Out will be faster than it after that. And then we can just, uh, depending on the damage, we can either double power up punch or double return. Yeah. I was like, I, I was man. still in Altaria mind. I was like, let's go out to Landorus and we'll intimidate it. And I was really scared of the Sacred Fire because this thing gets it in Generation 6 now. Um, and that has a 50% chance for a burn. So I was like panicking. And now all of a sudden it's like, we're faster. We can just double return and knock it out. Because I don't think a double power up punch is going to knock it out. And I don't want to mess around with Sacred Fire if it Ooh. does. It's faster, anyways. Faster, anyway. With the flame charge, even faster now. Okay, not is that this, bad. Is this thing like. Or. This thing has to be a positive speed nature, because I think we are. We're, I think we're adamant, which means that this thing has to be a jolly ante, which kind of explains the damage output. And we have a Reggie Rock. Which Not is bad. Fine. We could power up punch him. Yeah, we can double power up punch here. Oh man, <clears throat> these legends are coming out. They're coming out of the woodwork. We've been waiting all ten episodes to see them. Mm-hmm. And they're kind of scary when they do. <laughs> a little bit. What's he gonna do? <clears throat> curse! 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 I'm okay with the curse. Sandstorm, okay. This is fine too. A little bit of chip damage. Um, oh, does this thing get Sand Force as its hidden ability? Because if it does, we could be in trouble. <laughs> Sand hidden ability? How the I heck? Could, on a Reggie they, Rock? Yeah, they've thrown hidden abilities at me before. Uh, I've run into Static Zapdos in Singles Mason before, so I would not be surprised if that was the same thing. I'm just checking out of curiosity because you're still going with the initial plan I had in mind. Yeah, here we go. Just, Power just, up punching. Ooh, that was a crit power punch, uh, not bad. Can we get another one? Please, baby. Nope. We'll be at plus five if we live this, which is good, <laughs> but... Drain oh, punch! Ouch! And oh, it's hidden, whoa. Its hidden ability is thankfully Sturdy, not Sand Force. Sturdy's really good on it, wow. Sturdy's not really good on it. Well, I mean, if you switch in on, like, a special move, then, yeah... Like, if you take, like, a rogue grass knot, then you're good to go, and you're always guaranteed. It's, I think it's a little bit better than clear body, personally. Oh, yeah, clear body's kind of lame, but I don't know. He's got such massive defenses. What's the point of sturdy? It's it's only on the physical side that he's got the really good defense on. What's his so. base special defense? His base special is really low in like comparison. Like, what, 60? I think it's like, actually, it's really not that bad. It's 100. So there we go. What's the point of sturdy, then? Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. I thought it was a little lower. Shiny Regirock is really cool on that note. And we have Reggie Steel, and we are now at plus five. <laughs> well, we'll here get we up go. To plus Power six. Up. Boom! Baby, finish him off. Get him, baby. Baby, baby got him. Baby got him. <laughs> <laughs> yes! All right. Got oh. two. I'm surprised they didn't try throwing all three Reggies at us. Man. Okay. See, that's what they like to do. They'd like to do the, the dog trio. The Reggie Trio. I've know, seen them throw Verizion and Latias, and I've seen Terrakion before as well. So. Oh, yes. 
Let's see. Let's see if we get nothing but veterans. I could see that happening. Yeah, uh, that would be really this awesome. This sprite does not look like a veteran, though. So I think we're safe for now. Ace trainer, though. Ace trainer. Um, with Sharna. Mm. Well, fake out for once. Yeah. I mean, what do you think it's going to do? Maybe Calm Mind? Hypnosis? Uh, We can fake out and then power up punch once and then double return it. And that should be okay. Outside of like maybe like a Flame Orb Psycho Shift one. But if we see that, we'll know it immediately after this first turn and we can just double return. Yeah. And that hopefully will be enough to knock it out from there. Also, I don't, this, I don't think this thing is really capable of touching uh, Aegis Slash as well. All right, here we go. So go so for the we, power punch, you think? Yeah, just go for the power punch. Get some early setups because it's, for the most part, set up fodder outside of that. It can't get set up as quickly as we can. Yeah, with um, what? Calm Mind? That's the only thing I've seen on it? I would say Calm Mind. That was <laughs> crit on the baby hit. Okay. <laughs> He's just trying to be like Mama. And there's, there's the Calm Mind there, which is fine. I think a double return should be enough from here because we saw how much Fake Out did at normal, which is a definitely lower hit than return. Yeah, uh, we've gotten a little bit more damage off. I'd say from there we should be safe. And if we're not, we probably got a low roll on one of them. This thing is very bulky though, there we and go. It, it just does it off one. So yeah, me sleeping on Kangaskhan again. <laughs> All right, who's coming? Tauros. Ooh, Tauros with the head smash, right? Um, thing get, or is that Buffalon I'm thinking about? That, yeah, it's Buffalon. I wish this thing got like head charges. This thing is going to be faster than us for sure. So double sucker punch should be able to take it out. All right, let's do it. Ah. That's okay. It doesn't matter. That's fine. Protect. What does he have? Guts? Does this thing have guts? Mm, it gets intimidate. It gets sheer force. I don't think it gets guts. Otherwise, I would probably have a toxic orb facading Tauros by now. Yeah, that thing. That is... seems really good on it. Ooh, citrus. Okay. That might. That's probably gonna let it live, unless we get a crit on this one. Mm. And then we activate its anger point, which I think is its third one. <laughs> so Intimidate, Anger Point, and Sheer Force are its abilities. Earthquake is not even a stab move on it. Uh, we don't have anything to worry about from this bull. And he goes for a Do Toxic. It. Toxic Protect? Toxic Protect. Um, do you want to go into Aegislash? Now, the problem there is we don't have anything to respond immediately to it. Uh, we could protect right now and then just go for a flash cannon on the turn that we predicted to hit us with an earthquake. So, yeah, I don't see why not. I think it's going to protect right now anyway. So, and go I to Age of Slash. And in case it does do an earthquake, then we get our weakness policy activated. We can live one. Yeah, for sure. There's no way it can one-shot us from there. Hey, Gizmo. How are you doing? All right. I think it will protect from here. There we go. Predicting to protect. Good job. All right. Uh, what do we want to do? We want a flash cannon. Flash from cannon here. right off. Double. Uh oh. So toxic stalling, earthquaking. Double teaming. Double teaming. Tauros, huh? That's now, a crazy set. Yeah, this means we are going to have to hit a flash cannon. And thankfully we do. I think that should be able to do it. Definitely. Oh, Definitely. yeah, no doubt. All right, so we have this last one to worry about. Our Kangaskhan's at, oh. Slow King, this is good. We in can do the a bag. Shadow Ball. Or hold yeah, on, let's I, go to King Shield. I would King Shield here on the off chance it does have a fire move. Um, it can't do anything to us outside of like a Thunder Wave, I think would be the only thing that would be able to break through right now. I don't know what this or, or maybe uh, guy's going to do. maybe a Taunt. Trick Room! I think this is actually okay in this scenario because we still end up being slower than it in Trick Room because of how slow it actually is. So if we go for Shadow Ball, it's going to hit us first. Oh, that's that's very good. I think we ran into this earlier in the Mason. We had like this exact problem, which I think is pretty funny. So oh. it's, it's helping us with the Trick Room uh, for now, and we can stall out whatever turns it doesn't. Uh, I think a Shadow Sneak should be able to do it from there, unless you want to maybe stall out some more turns of Trick Room. It's oh, that's okay. Shadow Sneak will be fine. We didn't get our Weakness Policy activated, did we? Ooh. No, we didn't. Ooh, that was scary. That was a little bit scary. The HP was draining a little slower than I like to see. Thankfully, we're a quiet Aegis Slash and not a modest one, because if we were modest, that Shadow Sneak would not have killed, but I probably wouldn't be running Shadow Sneak if it was, uh, modest, so. Yeah. All right, here we go. Not bad. The first two down. We've got uh, a couple left. Yeah, two more, and then the uh, the Chatelaine herself. Oh, she's back for more. Oh, go easy man. on me is not in my vocabulary. Well, you obviously I didn't in the last it, episode. Right? You obviously huh? used it in a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kiracosta. She's used it twice, too. Yeah, what the heck? Um, okay, so fake out. Mm. Fake out to break the sturdy, and then power up punches from there. Yeah, that's easy. Kiracosta, the shell smashing Kiracosta. And then from there, I think the only thing we really have to fear is shell smashing and aqua jetting, but I think we can still sucker punch at that point. Um, yeah. Thanks to Kangaskhan's bulk after its mega form, we should be able to take on anything this thing wants to go for reasonably well. Alright, here we go. Smashed. So there's one. <clears throat> What's this? Weakness policy? Uh oh. That's fine. That's fine. Unless the shell smashes, in which case that's not fine. We go for another, uh, oh, he's gonna go for waterfall. All right. So we got a waterfall. This'll hurt. I don't think it'll take us out. Oh, my goodness gracious. He could aqua jet. You want to go for the, uh... Yeah, he want to go for the sucker punch Sucker here, punch, definitely. yeah. I was gonna say, dang, if we didn't go for it and he went for the aqua jet, that would be <laughs> stupid. Oh, uh, jeez. So, future reference, I guess, for these. Um, We're faster than Breloom, right? I'm kind of scared of the mock Punch. I'm not sure if that's normally in an in-game Breloom's vocabulary. Uh, I would say risk the double return, honestly. All right, try it. Whoa! Unprotected Focus Punch! Yeah! All right, got him on that one. Yeah, if we went for Sucker Punch, that would have been pretty bad. Effect eh. Spore! Eh, Kangaskhan did enough. Kangaskhan's been doing enough. All Honestly, day. if we can if we can take this last okay, we're not gonna be able to take this out with a double sucker punch, but we can get some damage off. Yeah, we'll we'll this go for fun. it anyway. Cause that's all we got left. It'll be a little bit of a struggle with Aegislash and uh Mamoswine, especially if the icicle crash happens to Actually no, we have Earthquake. Duh, we have Earthquake. It's fine. Yeah, here we go. Let's get Mamo out. Mamma Swine for some screen time. Getting getting him warmed up a little bit before the main event. <laughs> yeah, before he takes out the genies. Oh, man. We should have swapped his uh, life orb with a choice band. That would have been cool. Uh, yeah. Choice band ice shard. That's fine, too. Yeah. Life orb will be okay. Here we go. Come on, melted Hershey kiss. All right, here we go. Earthquake, baby. Oh, come on. Protect. <laughs> Rhyperior. Look at this big guy. I don't use these things enough. I definitely mean to, but for whatever reason, I just haven't. It's so slow. Maybe I'm like don't... a trick room team. I th like, even naturally, it's still pretty good, too. Um, <laughs> let's see what this... Uh, what has she got going on? Oh, so something to be wary of. Uh, the... Okay, okay, just a heads up, because we do have this available to us. Uh, but the super battles, there are some items we should definitely be aware of when it comes to battle number 50. And I will I will cross that bridge when we get to it for sure. <laughs> Copy spoiler alert. <laughs> Here we go. We're making it. This is it. Pokemon Ranger Hazel. Hello, Hazel, with a slow bro. Okay, not bad. Slow bro is the more defensive line, right? Yeah, so... We should be able to make do just fine, but still going for a Mega and a Fake Out here, just to see how much it does, because if a Fake Out and a Return will be okay with this, it's fine. Alright, Kangaskhan, do it. That little baby's ready to go. <laughs> and... Not doing too much there, unfortunately. No. You want to just go for Power-Up Punch? Uh... He's got lefties. Yeah, sure, we can do that, because I think it'll probably try to go for some kind of status condition on us on this turn anyway, so double sucker punching would more than likely be in vain. Yeah, I'm thinking he's going to go for, like, doesn't he get T-Wave? He gets T-Wave, he gets Toxic. Um, a Scald is pretty likely, too, if they do get that Here it goes, here it goes. Up. Trick Room! All right, so now he's going to go for an attacking move. He has to, right? Yeah. So let's go for that sucker punch. And this will benefit us if everything on our team happens to be slower than Mega Kangaskhan, because we can just return at that point. And we do see a attacking move. We are Ooh. at plus two now, and Man. one knocks it out. That's all it takes. I would be really upset if I was a trainer on the other side now. <laughs> Me too. 
So we have a dugong, which is definitely slower, but it's ultimately set up fodder to us, so we can power up punch from here. Are you sure you don't? Doesn't this thing have access to sheer cold? It does. You're right. Let's just go for sucker punch. Thank I don't you. Mess around That's with that. <laughs> I'm just like I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in regular terms, and I'm not thinking in Mason terms. Okay. Stockpile. Okay. So maybe that wasn't the best. Term. Um, he wouldn't th stockpile in sheer cold. Maybe he. I've never seen dugong here. You want to go for power up punch just for that? Yeah, just, just just go for it because stockpile and sheer cold would be really weird. But I don't. Yeah. So we want to we want to keep up with the stockpiles for sure. It's stockpile. interesting that we're running into because I don't remember this thing's defenses being great. But we'll find out how well it takes on a Mega Kangaskhan decently. Oh my goodness. It's ultimately set up fodder though. Yeah. Um, you think it's gonna go to plus three? I think it will go to plus three. It has the opportunity to. It'll either do that or it'll rest. Yeah, so power punch or... Uh... Yeah, I would say power punch. If it's sheer colds, it'll be funny, worst case scenario, but we got stuff for it. And it rain dances, because I think it has... Swift swims? I think it has access to hydration, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that uh, would be... Which means it yeah. would be stockpile, rest, rain dance, and probably waterfall, I would assume, for its other coverage. Oh, mode. come on, I thought baby got him. But what is this? And that's a Salak Berry to slow yourself in Trick Room. Good job. Not bad. Well, at least he got the rain out. Pro sets. All right, let's see what we got on this next one. Uh, I think the Trick Room wears off on, yeah, this turn. Okay, good. Good Lapras in the rain. Swift Swim, right? Uh, hydration also. Hydration. So you're safe double returning. Oof, Lapras, and man. Kangaskhan cleans it up, and we are at the moment we've been waiting for. Battle this number 50 it. after this. This is it. I'm so afraid. Huh. Never underestimate the power of nature. <laughs> I won't. Trust me. All right. Well, here we go. This is it. The moment we've all been waiting for. Battle, battle number, number 50. 50 against the Battle Chatelaine. Now, are you ready? You guys ready? As ready as we're gonna be. Let's do mind. this! <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. We get a special cinema scene. Yeah, special cutscene with Nita walking in. Hello, Nita! Work it, girl. Look at that outfit. Alright, here she comes. Battle Chatelaine Nita! Woohoo! Alright. Alright, hi, how are you? I'm Nita. Oh, how I've missed you, champion. The strongest trainer in all of Hoenn, is it then? At last, I can go all out. So let's get cracking on it. Prepare yourself. Oh. All right, Nita. Let's do this. Nita, Nita. So somehow, Battle Chatelaine Nita has three genies, nine wishes. All of them, <laughs> That's all true. All of them death. So let's just go for a mega and a fake out all here. All right, here we go. Landorus. Oh, what is this guy going to even try? EQ, obviously. Yep. He wouldn't dare get the sandstorm up. No, no. Doesn't no this... I'm thinking a double fake out. Ooh. Uh, with sucker a, punch. Uh, with a sucker punch would be able to do the job uh, from here, and then that way we don't have to worry about any of it, because this thing's probably going to try attacking us straight out. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Eat that big one. Baby. No, baby didn't get him. Oh, come on. Grass knot. Grass knot. Hitting us with that tail. Okay, this is fine. I guess we can just. Sorry. Maybe it went for that predicting mammoth swan. That's very aggressive. Wow. Do you think so? How does it know we have mammoth swan? <laughs> she's been watching. Like she's been in the stands, just kind of watching. The she's whole time. been in the curtains for forty-nine games. You know. Oh my goodness. Tornadoes. Tornadoes. Um, we should just double return because these things can get set up moves. Look at them flex. Oh my goodness. We're faster. Look at this guy. We're faster than Tornadus, and it just... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> we might not even need Mammoth Swine at the tempo this is going. Um, wow, Thunderous. Kangaskhan Thunderous is the has fast enough one. HP to take this thing on. <laughs> we'll just go for another return. Thunderous is the <laughs> fast one. Wild Charge. Really? Really? We didn't even... That was really anticlimactic. I was like, Come let's on, bring no, no, he's going to survive this. No, he's no, not. He's, no, he's not. <laughs> Wah, wah. Wah, <laughs> we had a harder wah. time with people going up, and she just... Whoa, hey! That was great fun! You're a strong one, champion. It's been a while since someone bested me when I was trying my utmost to win. 
I can hardly wait for the next battle between us, you bold thing. <laughs> I'm a bold thing now, okay. Well, we're we were adamant, things. actually, but that's okay. <laughs> the Battle Mason and Nita will always be here and waiting for your visit. You better come again, and no guff. Did she guff. just talk in the third person, or was that someone else? Um, <laughs> I think she I think she was talking in third person there. But when you're the Battle Chatelaine, you can do what you want. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, that's right. <laughs> Congratulations, I present you with these battle points for your victory against this serious Battle Chatelaine. 50 BP, cool. Very nice. That'll usually get you one item you need right yeah, off the bat. There we go. Young Master Abdali, you won superbly. To recognize your great achievement, we will erect a monument in the Battle Maison. All right, cool. That is pretty awesome. We did. We got to go see this monument really quick. Yeah. This is pretty exciting. They're pretty quick at building it, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just have them in the back room. They just bring them out. They're just, like, sitting there with their tools and stuff and watching how the game's going. And it's like, oh, wow, they crit the thunderous. Get going. Go. 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 <laughs> Put it on the cart. Hurry. Before he turns around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. We got two of them. Wally, get out of the way. We're trying to That's appreciate it. fine art here. It's a monument commemorating your 50 consecutive wins in Super Singles Battles. Okay. Yeah. That is it. Cool. And this is the one that we got for Super Doubles. Very nice. Okay, well, that is it. We will leave it right on this excellent screen right over here. So we can't thank you enough for being a part of this awesome 10-part series. It's been a blast. Tell me about your experiences on it, Elo. Tell me. It was really interesting seeing what uh, Oras was going to toss at us the entire time up. And, you know, for the six that we brought, they did pretty good. I'm proud of the pokes we brought. And, you know, our battling wasn't too bad at all. So... No, it was really fun going through it. Oh my goodness. Well, if you guys enjoyed the expert commentary from Quan Del Rent 66 or Elo, definitely check his channel out. Loads of Pokemon content for you. So go ahead and subscribe for that. Uh, subscribe to mine if you guys want some more of this. And uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned for another 10 episodes of a different single or a different Battle Mason challenge. Uh, we still have to do multi-battle, we have to do triple battle, and rotation battle. So, if you guys know of uh, someone who you want to see um, co-commentate, definitely put your suggestions in the description or in into the comment section. So, yeah, that's it. The series is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Any uh, last words, uh, Elo? We'll hopefully see you guys around on mine or on Abdallah's end for another collab. See what we got going on from there, but uh, we'll hopefully see you guys later at the very least. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for being there, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.